All right, here I am trying to do a problem similar to the one you're assigned in page 252. Uh, it's 1 over 2 times 1 minus 3x squared. We're going to show that this is approximately equal. This is our linearization, as it's called, of this function. Um, very close to uh, the point when we say a equals 0, which if you plug in 0 is the point 0, comma, and then if you plug that in you get 1, uh, 0, taken away from 1 is 1, 1 squared is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 over 2 is 1 half, so the point 1, comma, 0, comma, 1 half. All right? I'm not used to this tablet thing, you're going to have to bear with my terrible handwriting. Um, what we do is we're going to take the derivative of this left hand side, so if I rewrite that so it's a little bit more easy to take the derivative, I'm going to have 1 half times and then this 1 minus 3x to the minus 2. That's what brought it down to the denominator. When I take the derivative of this, I bring that minus 2 out front, and so I'll get uh, 1 half then times the minus 2 that I've brought out front, and then it's 1 minus 3x then to the minus 3, because I'll take away 1 from the minus 2. Then don't forget I have to take the derivative of the inside. The derivative of 1 minus 3x is just minus 3. And now when I multiply negative 2 times the 1 half, I get negative 1. Negative 1 times the negative 3 is positive 3. So this simplifies down to 3 times 1 minus 3x to the negative 3. All right, now I remember I plug in 0. So this 0 comes down and goes in right there. That gives me 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 to the negative 3 power is still just 1. That means it's 1 uh, over 1 to the third is 1 over 1. 1 times 3 is 3. So my slope at this instant, the derivative tells me my slope is 3. Okay, I just find the derivative and then I plug in that value into my derivative function, I get 3. So now I have a point and I have a slope. So if I do point slope form, y minus 1 half is equal to 3 times x minus 0. And uh, that gives me just 3x. I add 1 half to both sides. y equals 3x plus 1 half. That's the easy part. I've now verified that this is the same as this, as you will be able to do in your homework. However, uh, they want us also to find um, the values for which this is within 0.1. All right, so we're going to go to the calculator here. Um, here's the calculator. I've typed in the equations. Uh, you have to pay attention to how you type them in very carefully. There's 1 over, and then in parentheses, 2 times. 1 minus 3x squared, and then here's the closing parentheses. And I did it plus 0.1 at the end and minus 0.1. PEMDAS allows you to kind of just stick those plus and minuses at the end because it does the exponent first and then leaves that well outside. And then here's our equation 3x plus 0.5. If I go to the graph, you can see it's kind of a mess, but what I want to do is draw a box around the interesting part right in there. That's where our linear approximation works. So I'm going to go zoom choose zoom box, that's one, and now I just need to steer the cursor over to my area to expand it. It's um, kind of tedious, I apologize. And so that's the interesting part, I think, right there. I hit enter and that thumbtacks down that corner. I open it up and then open it down, or open it out and then open it down, and hopefully this will be a little bit better. So there's one curve, there's my other curve, there's my third curve, they're still pretty tight, and there's my approximation. So I'm still in zoom box mode, so I don't even have to hit zoom box again. I'm just going to draw another box. This is the part that is most interesting. You can see the intersection right here with the line in the lower curve, and right there the line in the upper curve. So I want to get all of that in. Um, it looks like my time is running out. I'm down about 30 seconds. I'm going to pause this in so that I can see here's my straight line my linear approximation this the plus point one doesn't really do much it doesn't show me the boundaries but right there is where the line intersects the lower curve and right there is where that line intersects the lower curve that's my range within which this linear approximation is within point one if I look at the window it's basically my x values from 